Hi, good evening everyone. Today I'm will be making a special video to answer one of the subscribers question. Um, how do you take multiple screenshots of a web page? For example, after each input, you want to take a screenshot of the output. How do, do you save each of the screenshots into a, a folder with unique file names? Maybe just numbers one, two, three, or better still, naming the output screenshots with the input in question one above. So I have uh, prepared a file, Excel file, right, to have a list of uh, search uh, items to put on the Google search. And then once uh, Google search, um, search the item, for example, dog, right, it will do a screenshot right and save it in a folder uh, based on the name in the excel list so i'm going to close this i'm going to delete all these uh, jpeg files and then i am going to run my workflow uh, one time just to show you what it does So you will launch Excel and read the list of um, the item that we want to search right? and open a Google Chrome and put in the name and then save the uh, screenshot in as, as a JPEG file. Right, all done. So if I go to my folder, I can see all the screenshots that have been saved. Hello everyone, my name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use Office Work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. So the first step is prepare an Excel file with a list of um, items that you want to search. So column name is search. Then, then after that, uh, put down the list of items that you want to search. Close the file. Then you go to Power Automate. So you're going to launch Excel and open the following document. Open up that um, the file that you have just created uh, make instant visible disabled open as read only uh, enabled the rest you can leave it as default then you use read from excel worksheet so excel instance all available values from worksheet get cell contents as text first line of range contains column names Variables produced is Excel data. Then you close Excel, um, Excel instance, and then do not save document. Then you use for each value to iterate Excel data store into current item. Then you launch new Chrome, launch mode, launch new instance, put in the URL um, for, for this uh, example. We will use www.google.com. Um, Windows state is maximized. The rest, uh, I leave it as uh, default. So wait for page to load is enabled. Variables produced is a browser. Then you pop use populate text field on web page. Web browser instance is browser. Over here, right, you need to add UI element. So I'm going to open the Google again. So what you need to add is add this uh, field, search field. So what you do is 
click on here, click add. All right. Then I'll hover around here. So this is input text. So what you do is uh, control and left mouse click. All right. Then uh, click on the input text. All right. So I have done it. So I'm not going to save it. And then um, over here, this would be your search term. So the, you, uh, you need to put N percent, current item, open square bracket, apostrophe, search, apostrophe, close bracket, and uh, N percent. So this search is the column name of uh, the Excel text, uh, Excel file. Um, then um, in at once, if field isn't empty, replace text. Disable popular text using physical keystrokes. Enable emulate typing. Disable unfocused text. Then enable wait for page to load. Um, then you do a send keys. So send keys to foreground window and text to send is uh, return. So it's an enter. So, so uh, you will write the name and ask Power Automate to click on enter so that your search can uh, proceed. So uh, send text as hardware case is disabled. Then you want to do this, wait for image, wait for image to appear. So if you go back to here, let's say if I find dog, right? So you need to wait till this Google G come out so that, um, so that that means uh, the search has been uh, completed, finished processing. Then only we take a screenshot, right? So it actually will appear like this. It's a new window. So once you see this G here, that means the search has been completed. So what you do is click on select image, capture image, then you capture this uh, G. Right. Then click OK. So I've done it. So my image is image free. Um, and uh, search for image on entire screen, search mode, search whole screen or foreground window, then disable, wait for all images. Um, the rest, I leave it as default. All right. Then press save. Then take screenshot, capture primary screen, save screenshot to file. So this is the folder path. And then this will be the name of the search item. So, so it's n percent current item, open bracket, apostrophe, the column name, apostrophe, close bracket, and uh, n percent dot jpg. Okay, if you want to save it in jpg, there's a whole selection of um, image format. So normally we use uh, jpg. So if it's jpg, it's dot jpg. Then press save. And after that, you close web browser. So web browser instant is browser. So it's all done. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And this video has helped you. If this video has helped you, please click on subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching again.